Okay, week six. Let's make some changes. See what I did there? Huh? I'll put the milk in. We're getting ready to go on a picnic with Vietnamese food. <laughs> James is making us some coffees and we got our picnic basket right here. Ooh. Oh, it's a Jellystone Park. Jellystone? You know what that is, no? Pick it, pick it basket, you know, ruin it, huh? Yogi, Yogi Bear. No, I don't know many, I don't know movies. Everybody Yogi Bear, you're joking. Not really. Yogi and Boo Boo. Uh. They go for picnics, they're always after picnic baskets. That's their oh, whole, cute. Uh, that's, that's their whole, um, sort of, mission in life. Yogi and Boo Boo? Seal picnic baskets from, from, uh, people who go for picnics in the Wait, time. Yogi and Boo Boo. Yogi and Boo Boo. Who's the, Yogi? The bear. I'm Yogi, obviously. The bear. He's a bear who has like a shirt and tie and a hat and he's, he's a little friend of Boo Boo. I'm Yogi because I am a Yogi. I practice yoga. You can be Boo Boo! Boo Boo? Mm. <laughs> Boo Boo is smarter than Yogi. I bet Yogi is in touch with her feelings. I think it's, uh, I think they're both boys. I bet Yogi's in touch with his feelings. Watch it. Well, anyways. Okay, we gotta go soon. Okay, we gotta go. So the, the, uh, Let's go. the thing, Let's the, uh, go. interviewing James real quick, just asking him about what he thinks about me trying to be a content creator. It's important to get the partner's perspective, right? James is working and he's half naked. <laughs> I've got shoes and socks on though as well, so that's, and, and that, that's not hard. He has, he has shoes and socks I've, on is I've, what he says. I've just got my shirt off, that's all. Yeah, so he's not trying to flex or anything, okay? I'm just having to catch him in the, in the candid moments. Okay, so hopefully nobody's offended. He's going to just share what he thinks about this YouTube venture of mine. I, I love that. I love it. I hope that you found something that you're passionate about and that you want to do. Obviously, I support you in it. No negativity. No. Why would there be any? Because I've seen you do amazing things. I've seen you, I, I, I believe in your energy. I believe that you'll. Uh, be able to do something, certainly do something that you put your mind to, something that you're interested in, something you're passionate for. I've no doubt that you'll be able to create something, which you have already. You've already created something. So. Especially, you know, knowing you, it will be something that comes from your heart, will be something, something nice for everyone. What do they say? You know, if you can just change one person's outlook, you know, you've done something good in the world. So I think as many people as you can touch you know, with the things that you've learned in your life, the mistakes you've made in your life, and the, the ways you've overcome those mistakes and hard times, what you've learned, you can pass that wisdom on to somebody else. And that's, I think that's a very, uh, you know, can be very beneficial to people. I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice venture, a nice like sort of purpose. Purpose, yeah. A nice purpose that you have, so that's why I'm, I'm sure that you, uh, that's where you, you draw on your inspiration from. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching them all the time. I listen to them all day while I'm working. <laughs> He's learning a lot from me too, guys. Okay. Bye. Love you. All right. I wanted to end on some words of wisdom this week. Um. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather this week. I've been feeling less energized, less motivated, inspired, and you know, yeah, I was feeling lethargic and physically just blah. 
blah, and then that was making me mentally blah. But what I found myself doing in those moments was I was doubling down and being so much harder on myself. I was not very kind to myself. So it's like if your kid was sick or your loved one or a friend and they're really just not feeling themselves and they feel kind of shitty, it's like you going to them saying, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get up. How dare you feel this way? How dare your body feel this way? You suck. All of those things I've told myself, and I know a lot of us tell ourselves that, where it's like, we don't allow ourselves just to be human and to have moments where we are less than, and we're not robots, right? So, so this expectation that I would feel this motivation and this energy week to week to week to week and that it should be that way is like expecting like I'm perfect. And there are weeks when I feel under the weather. The less kind I am to myself, the less kind I am to those around me. I have a much shorter fuse. I have less patience. So the shorter fuse and the less patience that you have with yourself, the less compassion, that trickles into how you treat others. I'm starting to really realize that. So there are some days when you just gotta slow down. There are some days when maybe you can't do much. And this whole week I was like, I gotta produce content. I gotta keep grinding. I gotta, you know, stay on that same pace, that same momentum that I had last week. And sometimes that's just not gonna be the case. And so here's the thing is, I had to remind myself that you gotta play the long game. This is a marathon, baby. It's not a race. It's not a sprint to the end because Say I want this to be a long-term thing, which I do, and I want to produce longevity. The quickest way to burn out is to expect that you're going to be successful tomorrow and to not give yourself grace or slack or some kindness in the moments where you don't feel yourself. So when I can remind myself that this is an endurance sport, when you're starting a new business, new venture, even a new relationship, all of it, something that you can see longevity in and that's worth it, anything that's worth it, it is a marathon and it's gonna take time, it takes time. And um, that's why it's so cliche when people say, it's the journey, not the destination, but it can't be more true. It's okay to put myself and my mental health and my wellness first in order to move fast. Play the long game. And they say anything worth having takes time. And I, and I really believe that. It's not a luxury to practice some self-compassion. And what I wanna do next week is dive more into the stuff that keeps me sane. Because it's a practice. People don't just, they're not just sane and energetic and cool, calm and collected and effective without work. Now, there are some of us who are born that way. I don't know those people, but they must exist. But for a lot of us, the rest of us, it's it requires work in order to be this high functioning, healthy human being. That takes work. And it's just a question of whether you feel like it's a priority or not. And I'm so sick of people thinking that wellness is a luxury. You know how many people you're probably driving crazy by not taking care of yourself? You just don't know it. I know I have. I know when I'm driving the people around me crazy because I haven't taken care of myself. So you're just doing yourself and everybody a disservice if you're not taking care of yourself. It's not a luxury. It must be a priority. So I wanna dive into kind of the routines that I do. I hate the whole like morning routine things. I don't necessarily have anything elaborate, but there's definitely things that are non-negotiables in my week. And I want to go through it. I, and I want to go over that next week. Um, but yeah, anyway, I want to end this on let's be nice to ourselves. Let's not be mean to ourselves anymore. This is the long game. And like I was saying before in the get ready with me, what if we just operated like the thing we want is going to happen? And what if we just operated like something wonderful is about to happen? <sighs> then you kind of feel that release, right? You feel that, you feel light. Even just saying that makes me feel more light. So 
Thanks so much for hanging out with me this week. I hope you have the most amazing week. Love you guys. Thank you.